I am Professor Anneliese Klut from the Equine Cardio Team at Ghent University in Belgium. In this video, I would like to proudly present our research on ketodoxapram as a new treatment option for atrial fibrillation in horses. This research has recently been funded by the Grayson Jockey Club Research Foundation. Hi, my name is uh, Günther van Loon and I'm head of the Equine Cardio Team in Ghent. Here in Ghent, we see quite a lot of horses with cardiac problems, and one of the main issues is uh, arrhythmias, and the most important arrhythmia is actually atrial fibrillation. During atrial fibrillation, the heart rate is irregular, and this has an impact on cardiac function. We see that atrial fibrillation occurs quite commonly. We see up to 5% of the race horses presenting atrial fibrillation, and this has a big impact on um, clinical signs, they may have a reduced performance, they may has a, have a nosebleed and in some cases it's uh, rare but it can occur that horses collapse or even die suddenly. Treatment of atrial fibrillation is traditionally done with uh, quinidine sulfate, a medication that can be given orally. But quinidine sulfate is actually disappearing from the market and another disadvantage is that the drug has quite a lot of side effects like colic laminitis and diarrhea. Another uh, possibility for the treatment is electrical cardioversion, so transvenous electrical cardioversion. This is a procedure that is done with catheters in the heart, so catheters are positioned in the heart, in the standing horse and then in anesthesia, an electrical shock is given and this is a very efficient uh, technique, but the problem is that quite a lot of experience is needed and also quite a lot of equipment so it cannot be done in all uh, centers. The aim of this project is therefore to evaluate a new drug, ketodoxapram, to see whether we can use this drug for treatment of atrial fibrillation in horses. Ketodoxapram is a promising antiarrhythmic drug that binds on the task 1 potassium channels in the heart. We have demonstrated that these ion channels are also present in the heart of horses and they are predominantly expressed in the atria. They are also upregulated in case of atrial fibrillation. Therefore, specific blocking of these task 1 channels is a promising way to treat atrial fibrillation. And we can do this by ketodoxapram. Because these channels are predominantly expressed in the atria, the risk of side effects such as sudden cardiac death during treatment is very low. In addition, ketodoxapram can be administered intravenously which makes it a much more practical and safe treatment for atrial fibrillation in equine athletes. I'm Lisa Maria Verhaan. I'm working as a PhD student on the Ketodoxapram project. In the first study, we will evaluate the effect of Ketodoxapram in the horse with acute atrial fibrillation. We will experimentally induce atrial fibrillation using a pacemaker. After 48 hours of atrial fibrillation, ketodoxapram is administered uh, intravenously and several parameters are monitored, such as uh, ECG, electrophysiological measurements, respiratory rate, blood pressure, cardiac troponins, and the concentration of ketodoxapram. The aim of the study is to demonstrate that ketodoxapram can slow down the atrial fibrillation rate and can convert acute atrial fibrillation in the horse. In a second study, we will evaluate the effect of ketodoxapram in horses with chronic experimentally induced atrial fibrillation. For this study, atrial fibrillation will be induced by the pacemaker and the horses are followed up for two months after the induction of atrial fibrillation. At different time points during this period, ketodoxapram will be administered and we will follow up the effect on cardiac electrophysiology and heart rhythm. Preliminary results regarding the effect of ketodoxapram were very promising in two horses with experimentally induced atrial fibrillation for 48 hours. Both horses converted to sinus rhythm. Therefore, we are very excited to continue this research with the help of the Grayson Jockey Club Research Foundation. 